Imagine if three quarters of the animals in your backyard uh, were like fireflies. What, what, what would walking around your backyard be like? It would be fantastic. Well, that's the Midwater Ocean. Mezabot is helping us figure out who those animals are, where they're going, how they relate to each other, how they respond to the environmental conditions. So it's helping us put the pieces together. So we're all set. We're just waiting for the bosun. Yep. All ready to go. You psyched? I'm psyched. Not nervous at all. Well, what's really exciting about a new toy in our toolbox is Mesobot because it's able to explore the largest living space on Earth, which is the midwater zone. And of all places on the planet, the least explored and guaranteed okay. discoveries. So I'm super pumped to see this thing go into action. Looking good. There you go. We're psyched. We're ready. First dive, a lot of hard work. It's all about getting ready for this dive at this time. We'll progress. Yeah, so I'll let you know when we're rigged up and ready to go. Yeah. You start the program, I'll wait for the red light. You see the red lights? No. Okay, I see the red lights. We're going to put the vehicle in the water. All right, lift off. Had to be in the water at 4 p.m. local time, be at depth at 4.30, and start our sampling. And we hit that yesterday, first day, and we hit it again today. We're, we're very proud of that. And the depth is 180.00. How do you like them apples? <laughs> he's got a 200 meter eDNA surveys, and then at 500 meters, he's gonna do two hours of transects through the water. Okay. So, so we have two instruments in the water now. We have Mezabot, which is uh, looks like it's going back down to 100 meters. And then we have a profiler, which has a very special camera, essentially a microscope on it. And it, we lower it down to about 1,000 meters, and then we haul it back up. Uh, so Mezabot is an AUV, and so uh, when it's in the water, there's very little for us to do. There's a lot of flurry before we go in, preparing everything and pre-dive checks. But let's eat there. It's about six hours or six, eight hours dive. Well, I've been on the winch uh, off and on since five o'clock. We're bringing the profiler up and down uh, while Mezubot's in the water to characterize the uh, environmental properties of the water column. It's been five hours now. We're waiting for our eDNA to come back from the twilight zone. I uh, did my best to pass the time by preparing for our samples. Uh, we've still got two more hours ahead of us, at least. So just do my best to pass the time. Uh, 7.324. Yeah. Uh, this is a moment. Yeah, I think we're doing it. Um, so, right now, we've told Mezabot to go to 100 meters, grab the light level that it sees there, and then hold that light level constant. Whatever it has to do, drive up or drive down. Um, so, yeah. so it, it looks like it's driving up, and it, it'll drive to 50 meters, and then we program to say, okay, when you get 50 meters, turn around, go back to 100, reset on the light level you find there, and come back again. It's really cool. So, and, and you know, we're doing that because we want the robot to emulate the animals. So we know that the animals, they swim up and down following the light levels. And so we're trying to teach Mezabot the same trick. Um, uh, we can actually observe that. We can see the brightly colored the green and the yellows and the reds here are areas where those animals are. And this afternoon, into the early evening, we actually watched those layers march shallower and shallower, and then they leveled off. And then if we were to watch in the morning, we would see as the sun starts to rise, they would be hiding down in the, in the dark ocean. Uh, one of the things Mezabot did tonight was hover at a fixed depth 
so it can actually observe those layers going by. Uh, it's actually observing them in, a, in an experimental way, filtering the water in situ, and that will collect what's called environmental DNA. And we're doing an experiment to see if we can actually understand which animals are migrating through that mechanism. No, I think we, we saw the vehicle do some really cool stuff, uh, especially towards the end when it was following these isolooms. I know Dana's very excited, I'm very excited. Leap like he's probably gonna stay up and look at some of the data. This is great. Very good mission. Did everything everyone asked it to do, so. Can't go to bed till the data's different places around the ship. Yeah, and I'll probably take a peek too.